Hello and thank you for watching this review of the Billingham Hadley Pro Large. This is the gray color obviously with black leather and black hits. It's a sharp bag. I think the color is a little darker in person than you see on their website and in any images I've ever seen. And that's a good thing. I thought it would be close to being a little too uh, white or bright or light gray, but it's a uh, it's a little bit darker, and I'm very pleased. Um, while it's here, I'm going to mention that I got an optional strap pad. This is the SP50, and uh, they actually recommend just an SP40, which is a little smaller pad. But I went a little bigger uh, because there are times when I have a lot in this bag. Uh, there's a mat pocket in the back here. I'm going to unload the bag with the things that make the bag kind of overstuffed right now. I'm going to do that first. This is about the full length of the bag, goes down to about here. And you could fit in here a notebook, some paperwork. Actually, it goes all the way down to the bottom of that leather. And while we're here, I'm going to point out something important to you. And it's the Hadley line. You can just get a Hadley Pro, and this is the large Pro. And then there's three other size Hadleys. It's interesting to note that on the large Pro, you're using the buckle here, which is exactly like a traditional belt buckle. And in the Hadley Pro, you're using a quick disconnect up here, as well as the adjustment for the size of the buckle. So if, if you don't think that this is for you, having to unbuckle every time, then that is something to consider. They have all their colors in here and other bags. It's a very neat printed piece. So let's continue with the Hadley Large Pro. The strap handle will work, the grab handle we'll call it, when you're buckled in, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and unbuckle the bag. Like I said earlier, it's pretty well stuffed right now. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the things that make the bag very overpacked. Two front pockets. And as you can see on this one, I have this snap here because I'm only using a minimal amount of things in here. But I could unsnap this to create more room in these front pockets individually. The first thing in here, I have a um, SP910 speed light. And I have a case that is clear in color so that I can see what's in here. I have memory cards, batteries, and other items. So now this is empty, and I can go ahead and snap that back, snap that back, and now this is completely empty. And you can see the line here that's created by this snap for the extra size. On the other side, this, this side is unsnapped. I have a money maker in here that takes up a lot of space. And then I have a single strap pad that I use when I convert to that. And I have two hand straps for when I convert to that. Now this pocket is empty. And as in the back, this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. And you snap, snap. If I unsnap, I'll see that there are two pieces of hardware here that the camera insert snaps into so that it stays in place. But it is removable, obviously. When you open the top of the bag with the buckles, there's nothing else in here that zips closed or anything. It's just the insert. You can see that the insert is snapped in here, these two snaps, and that is the only place that it snaps into place. There's a simple lid here that flaps open and close. And first I'm going to unload a MacBook Air 11 inch, which is just in a divider between the insert and the back of the bag is a divider. So it's a separate compartment. It has a pretty cool little patch back there. And you can fit a 13 inch MacBook Air in here. My 15 inch MacBook Pro will not fit. But you can see that you have a little bit more room for a 13 inch, as well as tablets. 
So now the bag is not as stuffed. It doesn't have a computer in it. It doesn't have a huge strap pad in here. It looks like a briefcase, sort of. The insert, it's very nice. I love it. I have this bag set up for three full frame cameras, each attached to a lens, including the 20, the uh, 70 to 200 with the tripod mount in the correct, in the lowered position. It's a D750. I created, with the two existing dividers that you get, I created a wall that goes straight down. The height of the bag is designed specifically for a full frame body with the 70 to 200, so the height is perfect. It's like a little over 12 inches. With the other divider, I created a shelf right here that connects with Velcro and it just creates a shelf for the other two bodies. So on the top sh of the shelf I have another D750, this one with a 58mm 1.4. Hoods reversed on everything. And then you have the third spot here which can fit a flash system in the case or in my situation I have the flash outside. I put a 20mm 1.8 on the right. So then I open up the shelf and it stays up the way that I set this up. I have a D810 with a 28mm 1.4. When you take out the divider, the um, insert, You can see that there's padding all around it, all the way up to the top, the sides, the bottom, and the front and the back. And now the bag just wants to collapse. There's just nothing to it. It's very lightweight at this point. So you could use this as an overnight bag. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is on the sides of the bags, they have these very strong connecting points, which are leather, for their AVEA system, A-V-E-A. They have two pouches, a size 3 and a size 5. I don't have those yet, so I've connected a third party pouch on there that I already had, and it works great. Now they make these in the colors of the bag, so in my situation a black would work okay, um, but you would may want to consider getting a gray one if you were to get a gray bag and so forth. Uh, the finish of the bag, this is the gray color. There are a few colors, uh, for example, sage, that would have a little bit more durable fabric with regard to staining. So if you're out in the elements a lot, I would recommend a color like sage. That's all I have. I'm going to just show you real quick a couple of the details on the bag. The zipper back here is, is very nice. They're YKK zippers and it has Bellingham on the, on the metal there. Very nice leather. Nothing on the bottom to protect the bag from the, the you know dirt if you're out in the woods. So that's why you might want to consider sage. And that's all I have on the bag itself. It does. It did arrive to me and I've read that it arrives to everyone in one of these large uh, sacks. So you can throw the bag in here and throw it in your trunk if you're worried about it getting dirty. And that's it. I love the bag and I can't wait to use it tonight. Thank you for watching.